I suppose a lot of my work is sort of focused around the role of language um, or the way that something like a verbal encasement happens around a sort of the, a practice that I might have that involves objects or films or things that aren't necessarily verbal. Um, and so there's a kind of interest in the interaction between those things uh, and I suppose also like a kind of wanting to question where something reaches its final meaning or whether when, when an object or a film can be re-looked at to have a new meaning or a second meaning. I had done a performance at the Jerwood and it was uh, a kind of smaller in scale than this but was trying to kind of sit several different registers of language, so a script, um, a performed voice and then a kind of scrolling voice or a projection that was sort of trying to tell you something and trying to set all of them together so they were almost just becoming a formal investigation. For figure three I wanted to develop that a little bit more using this idea of, which is also from a previous work, this idea of using the face um, to locate images and text. So the text kind of comes from the mouth and then the eyes are used for where the sort of images pop up for what maybe the sort of brain of the work is thinking. And the whole thing revolves around a lecture. So what what scrolls across in the mouth area uh, is a, a lecture that I've written. It's a fake lecture, a lecture that never happened, but written from the point of view of someone trying to record it. So everything is about it is recorded, even the kind of stage movements. During the five days, uh, are, are we're going to be sort of devising a performance, which I don't really know what it's going to be yet, but it'll, be, it'll involve, um, again, these sort of different registers of, of, uh, of language. So it's like sort of the visual language and then spoken word and then written word, scrolling, scrolling written word, and then also introducing music um, or kind of percussion through the drums as another way of kind of delineating something else or another sort of mode of expression. And they'll all be sort of mixed together and sit as one. Part of my practice has always been trying not to finish something or trying to kind of not find a solution or find that moment where something maybe doesn't make sense and then try and make it last. So I guess it's, I applied for figure three to try and expand on that uh, notion of something being kind of never ending or transient or sort of lasting a little bit longer than it was supposed to. And that's the sort of role of performance in relation to these works that are here that are physical works because performance is naturally unrolling and there's a group of sort of people that are coming in that I don't, haven't worked with before and they then are kind of embodying something that's in my mind in a completely different way than making it out of wood. So there's this kind of like ongoing thing about it. So that's, and I, I think that kind of fits with the sort of ethic of figure three. The work that I'm showing in this exhibition uh, is a combination of videos, uh, web-based artwork, sculptural, if you would like to say, installation-based, sound, um, and uh, participatory activities. It works around this concept of uh, how to, uh, to find methodologies of making artworks which uh, are following um, a notion of temporality and um, sort of also to some certain extent uh, involving uh, uh, public and sort of working around this kind of socially engaged practice. It's a kind of summary of my practice so far, especially uh, in relation to my PhD, which is a practice-based research. I'm very interested in this idea of progress and process. So the uh, so when I was uh, when I thought about the brief, I thought to work around uh, an idea which sort of could uh, picture a kind of gallery space, which is a combination of works that are finished and realized and completed, but on the other hand, there is a space that uh, works around this idea of process and progress and things that are still unknown and of course unfinished. So as part of that, uh, which I call it the studio, studio space, uh, which is still, of course, is a temporary studio setup, um, which I'm, uh, I'm going to work uh, during these uh, five days um, on uh, and other ideas. But at the same time, also invite other artists to come and um, 
do their own things if you, they would like to, to, to use the platform as a place to uh, propose for their, their projects uh, or to collaborate and do something together. So this kind of um, the, 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 the space that is open to people to come and experience a setup which is uh, might actually uh, could be a bit vague in terms of where is a finished work, where is uh, things are sort of in progress. So that sort of, uh, maybe it could be a kind of methodology of involving and sort of involving people um, uh, in an indirect way. So that's part of it. And the other part is this kind of invitation, open invitation for other people to come and use this space, studio space. That's how it came to, uh, I came up with this uh, title, Around Hospitality.